as you might know or not know, I've been very active in a lot of the alternative energy um, circles. By alternative energy, of course, he means free energy, you know, imaginary energy, you know, the kind that doesn't exist, that energy. Mainly pertaining to radiant energy. By radiant energy, this guy does not actually mean radiant energy, you know, sunlight or radio stations broadcasting good old rock and roll. No, he means a totally different form of radiant energy. You know, the kind that doesn't exist. Uh, zero point energy. That's right. Energy from the zero point field is just a alternative source of energy. You know, like wind f energy and hydroelectric energy and photovoltaic panel energy. Zero point field energy, same thing. Even though I'm quite immersed into that. Dude, you're certainly immersed in something and I gotta tell you, it ain't a pile of roses. You know, there's been technology around for approximately a hundred years. Uh, most of this was Nikolai Tesla designs. Yes, and every single one of those designs that Nikolai Tesla made requires a source of energy to operate. Lately, however, I've been seeing a lot of uh, unique designs uh, for various um, alternative energy, you know. Uh, he means unique designs for imaginary energy, of course, not alternative energy, as we shall see. Radiant energy uh, products out there. Perhaps I should explain what this genius means by radiant energy devices or radiant energy products. You know, when somebody takes a coil and they wrap it around a cardboard form, such as a toilet paper insert, and then they add some circuitry and some low wattage light emitting diodes, and they hold it up and the diodes light up and there's no battery, there's no cord, and the energy is just coming from somewhere and they have no idea where it's coming from. You know, if they took these devices and they went far away from the cities and far away from the towns and far away from the fucking radio broadcasting stations, then these devices mysteriously stop working and they can't figure out why. This is where it comes to play. I mean, I myself want to have a generator that will work as specified in the um, description below. Yes, let's take a look at the description below and see what this guy's requirements are for the device he wants to buy. The chief requirement is that it must run on magic, that is, be fuelless, and perhaps harness the zero point energy, radiant energy, you know, park it underneath a radio station broadcasting antenna. Or, and I love this, extracting dark matter from the ether. But wait, there's more. You know how he's going to determine if the device actually works to his requirements? The person who produces this device and sells it to him must submit herself or himself to a telepathic truth detection session. And I will pay up to two thousand dollars cash money for a working generator with a potential of going in up to four thousand dollars cash so which is it up to two thousand dollars or up to four thousand dollars and you know if this device actually worked it would be worth trillions and trillions of dollars and this guy just wants to pay a few thousand dollars? Anybody see a problem with this? Um, just asking. This has to operate on the radiant energy principle. He wants from 2,000 to 5,000 watts from radiant energy and this is possible. It has to come from the sun, however, or uranium or plutonium. 
But he wants it to come magically from the air. You know, the only way to do that is to park your ass under a radio broadcasting tower, wrap a coil around the antenna, perhaps, you know, big fat coils. Then maybe you'll get 2,000 watts if um, they don't come and haul your ass to gel first. I further would also want this device so that I could actually take it with me. Suppose I went out camping into the boonies, or uh, even if I was, let's say, camping out at Walmart. Camping out at Walmart. There's a lot of naysayers out there that keep saying, you know, they always come to my channel and some of my videos, or if I respond to any of the you know, comments, they counter respond and they will always lambast this technology as, you know, it's a farce. And okay, I give up. What technology? This technology does not exist. It can't be a farce because it doesn't exist. There is no such thing as free energy devices. There's no such thing as a device that can extract energy from the zero point field. Radiant energy devices, you have to park your device next to a broadcasting station or put it out in the sun. Then you'll get your energy. It doesn't just come like gravy. It actually has to come from somewhere. As for naysayers, and proud of it. And if all else fails, they'll even accuse you of having a mental illness. Telepathic, telepathic truth, truth, truth detection, detection session. session. You know, which is really, uh, really uh, whacked out. Uh, but anyway. So let's put that statement to the test. Who is whacked out? All of the physicists in the world? Or this guy when he made the following comment? But the authors of physics literature have motives to retain a few principles out of the public domain, do they not? So what if we are both correct after all? I like the idea that, you know, when an item would be built from components that I readily can acquire in my ventures as a trash picker, okay? Former uh, commercial trash picker. And a noble profession that be, too. I would not say former, I would say current professional trash picker. It sounds so much more sexy when you say it in singles bars. Now, if you have a larger device, uh, you know, the size of the Ark of the Covenant... Pardon me while I go and measure my Ark of the Covenant. I'll be right back. Again, I don't care how the de this, uh, device is manufactured. If you use a wooden cabinet, if you use just... Um, you know, I would rather want something a little bit more robust than just, uh, you know, bailing wire and, and, and duct tape. Damn! You know, my free energy device is made out of plywood, bailing wire, and, you guessed it, duct tape. But, um, you know, if you can make something more or less permanent for me... And which violates the very laws that govern the universe... I will have to test out the device uh, consecutively for... Uh, at least, um, I would imagine at least uh, 72 hours. Using telepathy. Granted, some of you may or may not be aware, I have uh, technology of my own, which is uh, which I use a lot in uh, truth detection, and that is uh, subvocal speech, uh, mainly uh, telepathic recording. I have an idea. Why don't you combine the two and make a free energy telepathic device? I've been using this a lot in order to pick up any time there is a person who I think may be not truthful in certain uh, way. You mean it detects 100% of humanity? I, I use this technology as a way to discover intent. So if you were a scammer and you attempted to scam me, I would... Uh, want to perform a few tests on you. And the tests involve anal probing, which he learned how to do when he was abducted by space aliens on a flying saucer. Through uh, spoken audio, just to be able to validate that you are indeed authentic and you pretty much have a, a working generator. For the third time. 
So you're going to test this device telepathically to see if the builder and the seller is honest instead of like, oh, I don't know, plugging shit into it and seeing if the shit runs. Good plan. Uh, you would agree to submit to that as a condition of this deal. And I would love to see the lawyer who would draw up this contract. Submit to telepathic interrogation. Sign here. For the fourth time. $2,000 up to $4,000 cash. That's right. $4,000 for a device that is worth trillions of dollars. You know, instead of selling a device such as this guy wants, why not take it to the James Randi Educational Foundation and demonstrate that it does what this genius wants it to do? And James Randi will hand over to you one million United States dollars. You don't even have to sell the device. You just demonstrate that it does what this genius wants it to do. Pick up your device, pick up your million dollars, and just vanish. $4,000? Chump change.